New tonight, you've got the chance to help kids in need. Tomorrow morning from 730 until 9 a.m., Sally Curtis Elementary in Beaumont will be accepting toys, donations that will go to something called the Poke Box over at Texas Children's Hospital. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert explains how it works. Every day, hundreds of kids at Texas Children's Hospital get poked. Which can mean um, port access, uh, shots, uh, chemo treatments of any kind. But it's actually become the best part of a terrible day. Whose glove is that? The toys and the donations and the prizes and poke prizes for us specifically. I mean, that's, that's how a, you get through the day yeah. is it's, that prize. That poke prize got gray off that elevator on yep. a lot of days. Each poke at Texas Children's Hospital comes with a prize. Dustin and Holly Gallier's son, Gray, was diagnosed with leukemia at the beginning of 2019. Those prizes helped him get through. How many prizes does the Gray build up? <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so Gray works the crowd pretty good, and so he, uh, he got the nurses on, you know, right around his fingers. Charities were donating the toys until COVID hit. COVID came in and it just wiped them out. You know, I think it took, really took the legs out from a lot of these charities that have been there for decades. And Gray know. would say there were no good prizes left, so he was really checking it out and he was like, we got to get some prizes. The and toys so weren't coming in like they used to. So Colleen Leviner, a kindergarten teacher at Sally Curtis and a close friend of Gray and the Galliers, decided to help. Just became determined that I wouldn't let that box get empty again. So that's when I went to Miss Triplett, my principal, and asked her if I could start a contest here at the school annually to make sure that we kept the puck prize box full and it was all inspired by gray for the last two years it's become a competition with each classroom who can bring in the most poke prizes last year it was overwhelming uh you couldn't walk in my room i think we had right around ten thousand prizes since june of 2021 gray has been cancer free but he still goes back to the hospital now as a delivery man. He gets to deliver them directly to these people who have been giving this to him for so long, and he was going to make sure that this poke prize thing stayed alive. In Beaumont, Cameron Seibert, 12 News. So tomorrow morning, you can join this effort. 7.30 to 9, Sally Curtis Elementary there on North Circuit. Bring toys of all ages, go to the drop-off line, and they'll make sure the toys are sent directly to the poke box at Texas Children's.